When you're doing direct variation, it's very important for us to remember what exactly is direct variation. Direct variation is, the, is when we have a function in the rule of y equals kx. Okay? So the only thing we have is what we have is a constant, which is our k. k represents our constant. Now, we can rewrite this in a different format. We can divide by x on both sides and have k is equal to y over x. So to determine if something is in direct variation, we have a constant value k. Okay? So if we don't have a constant value k, which is the ratio over y over x, then we do not have direct variation. So what we want to do is determine the value of k for each of these coordinates. And if it's the same, then we have direct variation. So I say k equals to 14 over 2, k equals 21 over 3, and k equals 35 over 5. Does everybody follow me? What I did, I just took the y over x for each of these terms. Now if it's the same, that means k is the same for all of them. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So that means k is equal to 7. Then the last thing it says is write the equation in of the direct variation, or write the function. So if k is equal to 7, I can just write y equals 7x. That's it. Now, let's just pretend 